Hello friends, welcome to Tech Guru. Once again, we are going to have a very good project. So nowadays, everything is going on internet and uh, we have to send a lot of data on internet. So in this project, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, do a simulation of internet of things. So in this case, uh, we are going to have a solar panel or a solar photovoltaic cell. So the project is solar cell cloud data logger. In this project, I am going to use a protest simulation, which is uh, using IoT, so that I am going to send the data on internet. Now the controller, what we are going to use is uh, Adreno Uno R3. And this is uh, your uh, uh, cloud data sending uh, thing. So this is your Wi-Fi module to send the data on cloud. This is ESP826612E. Now we do have a temperature oblique humidity sensor, which is DHT11. We have a, a RTC, a real time clock, DC1307. Now we have a solar panel of nine volt. And to uh, measure the current through the solar panel, we have a current sensor, which is ACS712. So this is a whole uh, uh, very basic uh, uh, things about my project. So these things I am going to use. Now let's move to the schematic of my project. So this is what uh, we have uh, did over there. So in Protus, uh, we have added an Adreno library as well as a library for DS1307, which is available on internet. So you can have uh, these library for Protus on, through internet. So now there is one more thing is there that to measure the intensity of light, ambient light, for the solar panel, we are going to have uh, this is my LDR. So by uh, connecting this LDR, I can uh, have a value of um, uh, ambient light in intensity. So I am going to convert that intensity into lux as well. Now this is my uh, DHT11, which is temperature and humidity sensor. So here, what we are going to send that uh, data which is a serial data. So that is a value of my temperature as well as humidity. And that is connected to pin A3. Again, we do have a RTC module. And for RTC module, we have connected a crystal oscillator, external crystal oscillator. Although if you are going to buy a whole module for this RTC, in that module, you will you are going to have this inbuilt. But for simulation, you have to connect external crystal. So we have connected an external crystal. The value for that is 47.3 uh, uh, kilohertz. So uh, now there is a battery, external battery for RTC. Now uh, here in this segment, we have simulated a solar panel. So by doing so, we are going to simulate a solar panel. So uh, from solar panel, we need two output. One is voltage and another one is current. So this module is to measure a uh, voltage so in this case i am going to use a variable potentiometer to change the voltage value and that voltage this is a voltmeter so that i can i am going to have an actual value of voltage now that voltage value which is a simulation of a, a volt output of a solar panel so in that case that output is going again i am i have connected to a one more analog input which is a1 to my adreno uno r3 again to measure a current so this is my current sensor acs712 so this is uh, basically uh, comes in 5 ampere or 20 ampere uh, version so whatsoever you can use it is suitable for ac as well as dc but as i am going to use a solar panel so i am going to put a battery of 12 volt so in that case, if I'm going to have a nine volt solar panel, so I can change this value to nine volt and so on. Now to vary uh, the value of current, we have put a one potentiometer over there. By changing the value of this potentiometer, this ACS712 IC is going to convert this, this input current, which is coming inside that into a, a proportional voltage output. The maximum value of voltage in that case will be 5 volt and it varies from 0 to 5 volt. So these are some filtering capacitor. So the output voltage which is proportional to the current input is going to be uh, feed um, back to my Adreno uh, through analog port A2. So here I have connected uh, through uh, analog port A2. 
so this is all in uh, input side so ldr is there for intensity measurement rtc that there is a rtc then there is a dht11 for temperature humidity measurement so uh, for voltage and current simulation i have did uh, this whole module which is a simulation equivalent of a uh, photovoltaic uh, panel pv panel or solar panel so now this is arduino uno r3 version so here you can see uh, to get a output i have connected uh, lcd which is my 16 to 2 lcd display so to set the contrast i have connected a variable resistance over there now connect appropriately rs and e on pin number 12 and 11 then uh, as i am going to do uh, a data uh, i am going to send a data even though uh, uh, four bit data so in that case i have used d4 d5 d6 and d7 pin only instead of all whole eight pin i am going to use only four pin of data so these are connected to uh, pin number 7654 of my arduino board now this is my esp8266 module so uh, this is a wifi module so that we can connect uh, 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 wifi uh, through that now in this project i am going to send whole data on to a uh, iot side iot side which is a uh, thing speak.com so i have created a one account over there and get my api uh, from there and after adding my api to my code i am going to send the data on internet so this is a whole circuit uh, diagram of my project now let's we move uh, to a simulation part so this is protus you can see this is protus design uh, protus 8.1 what i am going to use so this is my recent file so i am going to open it so uh, this is my simulation window so a uh, same circuit diagram what we have explained earlier so again no need to explain uh, uh, this again now uh, in this case uh, we are going to have Uh, you can see over there one thing that this is my arduino program so these are the various libraries and all these things lcd connections and i have connected uh, certain things like so these all things are these all functions are there so what i have connected so this is my simulation code and i am going to uh, um, have that code into uh, that um, uh, arduino uno so you can do that easily uh, you just need to um, uh, compile that code on arduino id then uh, after compilation on a second last line you are going to see uh, the location of hex file then by locating that hex file through this added properties go to that and as my hex file is also available so already available so i am going to add this hex file so this is my hex file okay now this hex file uh, is added to my arduino uno so now i can uh, run my project um, uh, through that so arranging and connecting all these things now i can run this so now i am going to run the simulation so look at uh, look at that very carefully so look at that i have given a running command so rtc is started now solar cloud dota logger you can see on lcd display now uh, it is going to show the information first first is it is going to connect to the cloud so a message came connecting to cloud so now it is connect going to connect to the cloud by using ssid and password uh, so if that successful then it will move further so again it is connecting okay connected now connected and sending data to cloud so in this case you can see the data over there so there are certain parameter uh, parameters like uh, l stand for uh, uh, your light intensity which is in a form of lux h stand for humidity t stand for temperature so this is a you can see a real time simulation so the clock cpu clock is running you can see uh, at the bottom so this is date 243 now it is going to uh, give you a data it will take some time first thing okay so now it's going to come voltage is 2.75 volt current is 0.85 ampere luminous intensity 7 uh, 9 uh, 4 uh, 9 and uh, humidity is 82 and temperature is 29 so this is time 1530 so it is going to simulate 
all the things now we can change the data so go and i'm going to zoom it uh, okay so here you can see in dth one two one one i am going to change uh, the value of temperature or humidity so here i am going to decrease the value of humidity so it should be reflected over there on lcd okay so i'm going to decrease it and for temperature it is a real time simulation so simulation is running you can see over there simulation is not stopped yet now i'm going to increase the temperature so it should so show 72 uh, percent uh, humidity relative humidity and 34 degrees celsius is a value of temperature so let me see is it working oh yes it is working so here you can see humidity is 72 so here you can see one thing that again humidity is 72 and temperature is 34 so the same thing what we have changed over there so my code is working absolutely 72 humidity 34 temperature again let's we change some more thing now i am going to change a uh, voltage output of my pv cell so by changing the value of this preset i can change the voltage value so here i am going to change the voltage so now the voltage has been changed to 3.30 volt so let's we see if there is a change on the output so let's wait for there so output will come voltage and current will come over there so this is date again it is flashing so i have given a time duration of around two seconds after every two seconds this last data is going to be now voltage and current value comes so it should come okay now you can see that voltage changes 3.30 what we have said over, over there so the same voltage level is there 3.3 volt so it is working perfectly well again i can change the value of current so this is a, a value of current 0.86 ampere and this is a proportional voltage output of your acs 712 which is going to convert this current into a proportional voltage output so if i am going to change this value from here so it should change on my lcd display also so here let's we see is it working so i have changed it to 1 ampere or you can say 1.2 ampere and voltage level also changes so let's we see that what is the value the voltage must be 3.3 volt and the value of current which is a simulation part of my pv cell so current that value of current must be 1.03 so yes it is okay voltage is 3.03 and current is uh, this much value so you can see this is the output of my rtc so it is going to match that thing this is a terminal window for rtc so date is 15 um, uh, time is 15 31 15 second and date is 240307 today's date so here you can see it's a very uh, good uh, thing to simulate your project first and then you can do all the work so here uh, whole simulation is working perfectly and everything is uh, working perfectly now you can see one more thing that this is my things um, speaks account so here i have added one channel so my channel is there so i can see a cloud pv logger data on my channel so okay uh, that there is some problem with internet so the very first window is going to show you uh, that um, uh, humidity second window uh, sorry first window is going to show you uh, all these things uh, so this is current this is humidity this is humidity percentage or this must be this must not be humidity percentage this must be a temperature or whatsoever so now voltage must come over there and date and months and time so it's of no use i just add these parameter over there and this is my lux or light intensity value so it is going to become over there so this is all about uh, that project so this is again uh, i'm going to say this is a tech gurus so please comment and uh, if you have any query about that you can ask me and please subscribe uh, my channel so that i can do more and more projects like this so thank you and thanks for watching okay please subscribe 
okay so okay friends bye